I'm a sound guy. Do we do things you do, man? This is a test. This is a test. Testing. Testing my new white screen setup. Testing. Testing. That camera's rolling. I'm crazy, motherfucker, man. This is my living room right now. I'm gonna fucking play. Five. <laughs> I woke up. Um, in my arm. <laughs> Seven? Blew it by two? Yeah. See, I'm a true leader around this mug. Last one to go to bed every day. Last motherfucker to go to sleep in this place. First motherfucker to wake up. Actually, Jess beats me. She wakes up. She wakes up like 30 minutes before I do. So. But hell, that's really the only reason. Like, if it wasn't for her, I'd be. <sighs> Gotta get better, though. Gotta get back to the day. Five o'clock sharp, man. Make sure you get that spirit, mind, and body in. I've been getting the spirit part, and I've been getting the mind part in, but uh, obviously I haven't been going to the gym very lately. I haven't been getting a lot of body in, so. It's not about being perfect, it's about always working on it. You know, just always keep working on it. What is up, everybody? This is the next day, this is tomorrow, and this is the end result of all the work you saw yesterday. My brand new white screen setup. I can do cool ass editing tricks with this. Anyways, so uh, today we're gonna be playing with this. I'm gonna be using this footage as well, do some cool tricks and editing magic so that I can make like two of myself. All right, test. I'm now speaking to myself. Rod, how are you doing today, man? Are you excited for today? I couldn't be any more excited for today, Rod. Okay, back to me. So, anyways. This is the fun stuff today that we'll be working on. Of course, I'll show you some behind the scenes footage of what exactly we're gonna be doing, what we're setting up on. As far as, uh, you know, mentalities and things go today, guys, you know, I was just talking to Ollie a minute ago. You heard me probably right there. We'll probably put that B-roll in of me uh, talking about spirit, mind, and body time in the mornings. So important, guys. Your morning routine is so, so crucial to life. When my morning routine starts off where I miss one of those three facets, if I don't do some meditating in the morning to really get my spirit energized and prepared for the day, uh, just because you have to set that intention for the day. You know, if you don't, if you don't run the day, the day is going to run you and uh, you'll be chasing your tail all which way, reacting to everything and situation that happens. But if you start with the meditation and the clearing of your mind and setting some clear intentions and goals for that day, dude, you'll just be driving straight through it. And things that don't matter, you'll be able to shuck off to the side immediately and just stay focused right on what it is that you wanted to accomplish today. Because every day that we accomplish something is a seed that we plant, right? Grows into our forest tomorrow. So either way, spirit time. And then mind, of course, you know, do something. I like to spend 30 minutes, maybe an hour. For me, I love to listen to motivational speakers talk, you know, and, and to just kind of get their energy, listen to their vocabulary, learn about their different speaking techniques, inflection in their voice. Or maybe I'll study something about, you know, video editing or, you know, cinematography, but I study something on my skills, you know, my actual technical skills, the things I use to produce stuff in this world. Pow, 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 pow. Because you need that, right? You know, um, it's nothing, all the spirit in the world does us no good if we have no physical grounding, if we don't know how to use our physical tools, like our body, and, you know, um, to create things around us, like machines and gadget gadgets, or whatever the hell you're going to do, you know, but you got to be working on your skills. You got to be getting better every single day. And then the third, of course, is body, man. You know, um, I see a lot of successful people, and they're just terribly out of shape, and, you know, they're, they're having heart disease problems, or whatever the case, you know. You gotta take care of your body. It's the only one you get. You gotta ride it for like 80 to 100 years. You know, it has a long lifespan. It's gonna go through a lot of different changes, a lot of different, you know, growth and aspects. And you wanna make it prepared. You wanna strengthen it just like you strengthen your mind and your spirit. You know, these three facets are our existence. They, they're fundamental to everything that we are indeed. So take care of your body, do something physical. You know, it doesn't always have to be the, the, the gym grind or, you know, running 10,000 miles or, or, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. If you um, if you like playing a sport, maybe, or maybe you just get up and take, you know, regular walks, you know, get out there and stretch. Every morning, I love to stretch. That's one thing I do. Everybody here in the house stretches quite a bit, um, just to really get, you know, limber and loose, man. The body's so stiff all night. You know, it's, it's good to get, get everything worked out and stay flexible, stay in stretch, man. 
you don't take care of your body, your body won't take care of you, it'll start shutting down. And then again, of course, it doesn't matter how many dreams you have, it doesn't matter what you wish to do, body shut down, because not much can happen. You're not, you're not gonna be able to make those moves. So, um, take care of the body, right? And then best take away that you can. So, whatever you can do, if that just means walking around the block or whatever, that's fine, you know? Exercise your body to its full potential, to its full extent just like you exercise your mind to its full extent. And I hope, I pray that you're swirling your spirit, creating that vortex of just happiness, positivity, and dreams, man. You know, just accomplishment of our dreams. That's all we have in this world. That's all we have. I was talking to a couple people on Instagram this morning about that very nature, man. It's like, when you grab your dream, you gotta chase it, man. It is for you. This is the only way you'll ever find fulfillment in this life is if you're chasing that thing that's in your heart that calls to you. If you don't, it'll always be calling to you and everything else that you do will always seem substandard, you know? So, with that, what else? See ya. Right on, guys. So this is our setup as we have it right now. We have the tripod over here, smack dab in the middle of Marcus's sleeping area. He's decided to tear down the cot as well, so make some more space, but we got the tripod set up right there. Old Mac Heath back there on the edit right now. Got kind of creative with this chair so that we get lighting on our subject. And so here's the deal, when you're setting up, and we may actually turn this white screen back here into an actual green screen and put up a, a green fabric right there. But essentially the deal is you have to light the background and then you also have to light your subject, wherever your subject's standing. So in this case, our subject will be standing right in front of these two lights that we have, our studio setup lights. And um, like I said, using this little newer light right here to shine the subject. That's it guys, you know, that's it. And all, all, all I show you this is just to tell you, man, you, you gotta get creative sometimes, you know? Uh, like we talk about on this show, the show isn't about having limited re unlimited resources and um, you know, always having everything you need handed to you. So you don't, probably don't have a gigantic studio, you know? We probably don't have a um, huge space or rooms where we can set up, man, so some, maybe make some sacrifices. Get rid of your furniture and uh, turn your whole living room into a studio. You know, what does anybody ever do in their living room anyways besides sit around and, you know, watch Netflix or whatever, sit on the couch, you know? That's it. Go meet your friends at a coffee shop and uh, do some work, man. Either way, guys, get creative sometimes, you know? Get creative, do what you gotta do, make them sacrifices, whatever it takes, man. Just do what you gotta do. This is what we had to do. Looking right though. I'm really proud of this setup, man. It's gonna be exciting. Can't wait to show you the guys the footage. Anyways, moving on, man. Making dreams come true. That's it. All right, guys, check it out. We are uh, we were working with the white screen earlier, but we need a green screen, man. I, I was whitening out my blackwood shirt, whitening out my teeth, you know, eyeballs was turning invisible. So uh, we're definitely gonna try and, you know, make our own green screen here. Went down to Joanne's, uh, got some fabric. Now we're just sewing it up together. Gonna probably plaster it to this wall. Burning the midnight oil, man. It's getting late around here, but uh, do whatever it takes. We're gonna have to get up early in the morning as well to shoot this video, but it's what I like to do. And I feel like if I keep taking these actions day by day, I'll become successful, you know? So, uh, <clears throat> You know, this is just good practice for Campus Clever and all these other things. I love shooting music videos. I love to shoot, I, I love just shooting films in general. I love this vlog. And um, so anything I can do to advance my skills and practice that, like, you know, building green screens or whatever, when I invest my time into these um, tasks, I feel like it's all worth it because it's like planting little seeds. We talked about that, you know? Planting little seeds and every day I become just that much better. So. This is our first time working with the green screen. I um, was able to do some pretty cool things with it earlier. So definitely make sure you stick stick around, check out the Keith Harvey music video. I'll probably drop it on my, my channel. Uh, if not, we'll definitely just, I'll direct you over where you can find it. We'll drop the link and check it out. But uh, it's gonna be lit, man. We'll shoot that tomorrow. So yeah, it won't be out tomorrow. It's gonna take me a little while to edit it, of course, but you know, give it a couple more days, you know, stick with me. Subscribe, if you just subscribe, you'll know exactly when it drops, you know? So, um, you know, stick with me and uh, we'll keep doing fun things together, man. Remember, we're gonna be hitting the road real soon, real, real soon. I hope you learned something today. We're learning a ton, you know, always be learning. I love y'all.